The air in the club was thick with the scent of sweat and alcohol. People were laughing and occasionally clinks of glasses. Some were crazily dancing on the dance floor and just enjoying their life in general. You came to do the same thing. You came to the club to celebrate your first job. After a long time and hard work, you finally got selected in one of the best company, but your happiness soon faded away when you saw a man standing at a distance and staring at you. Your breath came short and a panic rushed inside you as you recognized the man. You are seeing him everywhere that you go from the past few weeks. You are sure that he is talking you and he looks so creepy. You once decided to report him to the police but you don't have enough proof. You knew that if you didn't do anything maybe soon you have to experience something horrible. You live alone and he is a nightmare for a few weeks now. He came here as well. Oh god. You whispered to yourself. Your hands were trembling as you clutched your purse tightly and a cold sweat breaking out on your forehead. Seeing you getting afraid, the stalker started making his way towards you and your heart dropped. You quickly got up, a rise of panic threatening started to consume you. You quickly decided to leave from there. You were looking around to find someone who might help you because even if you go outside, that will be more threatening as he can catch you. You navigated through the crowded dance floor. Your heart was pounding with fear and suddenly you bumped into someone. You looked up to apologize to whoever you collided with when you freeze in shock as your eyes locked with the stranger. My apology, I didn't notice. The guy apologizes to you from the front when he has no fault. He saw the tension on your face and the beads of sweat that covered your forehead. Are you okay miss? He asked from front and then he looked back only to see that the stalker has stopped at a distance seeing you both seeing you with a guy. You knew that you have to do something. You again looked at the guy. Miss? You swallowed and looked in the eyes of that stranger. Please help me. You said as panic clearly visible in your tone. The stranger taken aback by your sudden distress. He looked around following your eyes where you were looking time to time and he noticed a guy who was only looking at both of them. He again shifted his eyes on you. Are you running away from someone? Is it that man? I'm not running away. That man is stalking me for so many days and I'm so afraid. Please help me. He looked at you. He could see the terror in your eyes. What do you want me to do? Your mind raced as you searched for a way to completely get rid of your stalker. It was strange but you find no other better option. Pretend that you are my husband. Please, just play along. I know it's weird, but please. You could see his eyes widening in surprise at your unexpected request, but he was ready to help you. He realizes the gravity of your situation. He smiled and firmly wrapped his arms around your waist, making you surprised for a second. Of course, darling, I've got you. It was strange how you feel protected and comfortable around this stranger but you felt a sense of relief as he shielded you from the presence of that creepy stalker. You cast a fearful glance over your shoulder watching the stalker as he was looking confused. Now you don't have to be afraid of anything. He held your hand and walked you to the direction where your stalker was also standing. You got scared but the stranger has an assuring smile on his face. I was looking for you at the bar counter, Jaggi. You should stay next to me. I don't want any man to even look at you. And if anyone does, I'll pluck their eyes out. He said that dialogue a little loud when you passed that stalker and you could see that the stalker immediately disappeared in the shadows. Maybe now he got scared and will never approach you. You kept on looking at the site, he disappeared and you were still afraid but Jungkook looked at you. Don't worry, he won't dare to look at you again. You looked at him and then nodded. I hope so. And thank you so much. I I don't know how to thank you enough. You helped me a lot. He smiled gently. No problem at all. Glad I could help. I don't know what I would have done 
if you hadn't shown up at the right time thank you i couldn't just stand there and watch a beautiful woman getting stalked by a creepy man you both chuckle softly thank you very much i am vyan You said extending your hand while he accepted the handshake like a gentleman. I'm Jungkook and just like you, you have a beautiful name. This made you sh- smile shyly. Now that everything is okay, would you like to grab a drink? You nodded. Of course. He smiled and then you both walked towards the bar counter. He took a deep breath and finally stepped inside the building. You still can't believe that you got work at your dream place and you can't wait to start working. There was a mix of excitement and nervousness, but keeping everything aside, you walked towards the reception. You passed the security check and went to reception. Good morning, I'm Kim Wayan. Yesterday I was hired and today it is my first working day. The lady nodded. Let me see. She checked your id in the computer before looking at you from now on you will enter through the entrance of the staff through that turnstile she said giving you a pass and pointing towards the direction thank you so much have a nice day you took the card and passed the turnstile you were going towards the department of architecture and planning because that's where you'll work as you were walking your mind was filled with all those thoughts like how you'll perform or how will be your first day when you bumped into someone oh my god i'm so sorry as you immediately apologize and look up at the person you once again freeze the scene from last night just got repeat and you both were shocked to see each other wayan jungkook what are you doing here Yes, it was a very stupid question to ask, but you were so surprised. He smiled. Well, I work here, but do you also? Yes, I joined today. This is my first day. He looked happy. That's so amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I never thought we'll be able to meet again. He chuckled. Well, you see we did. And what about that man? Did he follow you today also? You shook your head. No, I didn't see him. I think he believed that you are my husband. He chuckled. Good for him. Now, you can tell me whenever you feel like he is near. You know. By the way, in which department are you working? I'm in architecture and planning department. You could see him raising his brows and hesitating a little bit to tell you. Well, sir, we have the reports now. The meeting is about to start, so I think we should go. His secretary appeared out of nowhere and she stopped when she saw both of you. Yesterday you saw her in the interview as well and she also recognized you. He looked at Jungkook confused. She was calling him sir. That means he holds a very high post. You are Kim Wayan, right? It is your first day. Yes, she smiled and nodded. Congratulations for getting the job. Thank you very much. Then she noticed that you were looking at Jungkook and he kind of looking nervous too. Well, he's Mr. John Jungkook, the CEO of John Holding. Your jaw dropped hearing that as you looked at Jungkook and he forced an awkward smile. The CEO, he gave a single nod. Yes, but we are not strangers anymore, so you don't have to be formal with me. Oh my god, I'm still surprised. So you're the boss. Ashley looked at both of you. Seems like you both knew each other. Jungkook looked at her with a smile. Yes, very well. You were now feeling so awkward and embarrassed. Oh, I think we should leave now. Jungkook nodded, but before going, he looked at you. Welcome to the John Holding. Hope we'll have our next meeting soon. A blush appeared on your face. He waved at you and walked away with his secretary. You put your hand on your chest and felt your heartbeat that was racing. Last night you bumped into 
him and he saved you and today you found out that he's the CEO. Don't know if it was just a coincidence or destiny that brought both of you together once again, but now you have started to feel something for him. Oh God, what am I even thinking? I should hurry up. You walked away. Slowly you guys started meeting very often. Jungkook always try to find ways where he get to meet you. Sometimes he come in your department and because you become kind of friends before you join, you were pretty comfortable about it. But people in the office were so confused. They wanted to know why the CEO is so friendly with you. Is there something going on between both of you and stuff like that? But none of you pay attention to what others talk about or think. Your moment already started the night he pretended to be your husband and saved you from the stalker. He even dropped you off to your apartment sometimes when it gets late. This friendship was turning into something more than that. Come in. Hearing the door knock, Jungkook called the person inside and that person was none other than you. A smile appeared on his face when he saw you. You called me? You said coming inside while he signed you to sit. Yes, I have heard that you have completed the layout of the project. Well, I did, but then I noticed that I forgot one more model of that project, so just finishing that up. He nodded. Would you like to have some coffee? Tea? No, thank you. I think you should not treat me this way in the office. People have started talking about it. Oh really? Do they bother you? Oh no, you said waving your hand. Then you shouldn't pay attention. By the way, they don't know that we are husband and wife for a reason. First you got shocked and then chuckle left from your mouth. Oh come on, please don't make me feel embarrassed again. That was the most stupid idea that came in my mind that day. But it worked so you can't say that it was a bad idea. I wonder what if there would be some other guy in your place, they would have definitely said that I am a psycho. Well, I don't know about others, but I definitely enjoyed that drama. That man who was stalking you, did you see? How terrified he looked when I said I'll pluck the eyes of whoever is bothering my wife. You laughed and nodded. Yes, I have never seen him again. He smiled. Then the door opened, interfering the moment, and his secretary came inside. She looked surprised to see you inside. Wayne, what are you doing here? She said looking at you. I called her. I wanted to see the layout of the mall. He replied on your behalf. Oh wow, did you finish it? You nodded. That's so fast. It means we can hold a meeting tomorrow. Sure, and it would be great if I and herself explain everything. He said looking at you while you smiled and nodded before getting up. It will be a pleasure. Now I'll take my leave. I have to finish a model. Ashley nodded and stepped back to give you space to walk away. You took a glance at Jungkook before leaving. How's the construction work going on? What? were those workers wanted to talk about. He said sitting on his chair while Ashley turned towards him. There is a minor technical issue in the lift that they used to go up and down so the supervisor has submitted this report. Jungkook took the report and nodded. Resolve the issue as soon as possible and tell them to not use the lift until it gets fixed. Their safety is our priority. She nodded. I went through the blueprint that was designed previously and it was pretty good but there were some things that needed to be changed so I just made some necessary changes. If given the permission I would like to show. You were in the meeting room with a few other members. It was your first meeting in with Jungkook was also there and he was so amazed and surprised by her professionalism and confidence. Sure, go ahead. 
Getting the permission from him, he nodded and opened the slide of the blueprint. Due to the fact that the building is completely showcased, it looked bad from the outside. Therefore, we'll reduce this column a little. You said pointing towards the areas that you were explaining. And here in the middle, we'll transfer two curtains. We cannot accommodate a warehouse here naturally. A little space will open and the outside will not look bad. He looked at everyone and they were so into the explanation. I hope everyone liked this idea. Jungkook got up and clapped, making you feel relieved getting the praise from the right person. Wonderful. I can't believe that you said you only have two years of experience. This is amazing. We'll implement this blueprint. Everyone agreed while you bowed. The meeting dismissed and now there were you, him and the secretary who were left in the room. You were folding the blueprints that you have drawn. Wayan, he looked at him. Yes. What are you doing after work? He looked at his secretary. She collected her stuff and excused herself. I'll take my leave. Jungkook nodded and then again turned towards you. Any plan? Not really. I don't have any plans. He smiled. Then how about going to dinner? You understood his direction so you smiled playfully before picking those charts. Huh, are you asking me for a dinner date? He chuckled and nodded. I forgot that you are smart. You chuckled. Well I am. He nodded. I know, I know. So, wanna go for a dinner date, Miss Kim Wayan? Sure, I would love to, but can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, anything. You came near him. Do you perhaps like me? I mean, I'm just asking. He looked at you for some time, but your heart skipped a beat when he took a step closer to you. Do I really need to tell you this? At the very first meeting, you asked me to play as your husband. Then we met here and then we came closer. I don't think there's anything left to say, is there? You lowered your eyes as your heart was beating so fast. Jungkook gently grabbed your hand making you look at him. But there is something that I want to say, to clear everything and that is, I love you Ayan. From the very first day I fell in love with you. You have no idea how to react, you were so overwhelmed. Do you also feel the same? He waited for your answer and you nodded. Yes, I love you too. He smiled and hugged you as you both shared a deep hug feeling each other's warmth.